Hey everybody, let's talk about why there are so many different programming languages out there. So you may be wondering, why are there so many programming languages? There's Python, there's JavaScript, there's Swift, there's Java, there's C Sharp, there's Ruby, there's PHP, and there's many, many others. Why so many? Well, there's a few reasons. Number one, different languages were invented or created to solve different problems. So Python was created to uh, create an intuitive, easy to learn and easy to write language. And it's got easier syntax, got easier code. So that's why Python was created. Java was created at, in its day to create a language that could run in any type of computer. This was something unique for its day. In the old days, you would have a programming language that would only, write, would only work on Windows, and you have another program, programming language that would only work on Mac, for instance. So Java was invented to be able to run anywhere. It was the, the, uh, the catchphrase for Java in the day was write once, run anywhere. JavaScript, different from Java, JavaScript invented around the same time was designed to be the programming language for web browsers. So since that time, it's expanded quite a bit. PHP, uh, the dirty redheaded stepchild of the programming world, super popular by the way, but for some reason, it's like disco. Disco music was super popular in the 70s and then hit the 80s hit, and if you even admitted you liked disco, you were attacked. But PHP is kind of like that these days, even though it's used like all over the place. Uh, Facebook was created with PHP. Now PHP was designed originally for building web apps. PHP is not nearly as flexible in terms of where it can be used as Python. Python, as you know, is used in robotics and gaming and web apps and computational and sciences. And PHP is only used in web apps. And PHP actually, its original name was Personal Homepage. PHP, Personal Homepage. They changed that now because they wanted to make it sound fancier. But when PHP was invented, it was invented to create web pages, dynamic websites, web apps. I'm not going to go on any more about PHP, but all you need to take away from this video is that different programming languages were invented because some nerd, and I say that with, all, with most respect, nerds, they, they have such an impact, they're very important people in our world. Nerds, uh, some nerd will invent a programming language because they, wanted to, they want to create a language that's, that works better to solve a certain problem. A problem could be creating database-driven dynamic web apps. A problem could be to create, uh, you know, uh, mobile apps more easily, etc., etc., etc. For instance, Apple created Swift to make it easier to write iOS apps, as an example. So each language has its particular, here's a nerd word, use case. It's a situation where it's best Use. Of course, a lot of these languages are flexible and a lot of these languages overlap. So, for instance, Java and Python are two languages uh, that can be used to do many of the same things, etc., 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 etc. So, then the other reason is that people invent languages is because they prefer that coding be done in a certain way. So, even though Python can do a lot of what Java does and vice versa, the Python was written so that you could code in a more simple, easier to read syntax, a simpler to read code, syntax is just another word for code, than Java. So you're gonna have the Java guys saying Python stinks, blah, 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 and the Python guys saying that about the Java guys, and the Ruby guys jumping in. So you're gonna have all these coding language wars, these programming language wars, and a lot of it comes down to taste. So those are the reasons, uh, the main reasons why we have multiple coding languages. One of the other reasons is just because technology changes. Python is a language um, that requires powerful computers, and so it wouldn't have been workable 25 years ago, Python. It, wouldn't, it would just be too slow for the computers. The computers not, wouldn't have been fast enough. Today, though, computers are so powerful that Python is very, very viable now. So, uh, yeah, those are the reasons. Uh, to solve different problems. That's the number one reason why we have different programming languages. The number two reason is because different programmers have a different point of view about how programming languages should work and how the code should look. And number three is because as 
computer hardware, as it gets faster and more powerful, you can you have more freedom in terms of the type of programming languages you can introduce. And uh, that's it for this video.